Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Now we are going to discuss about resonating air column apparatus. With the help of that, we can find out the velocity of sound at t degree centigrade. At the same time, with the help of that, we can able to find out the velocity of sound at 0 degree centigrade also. So first of all, what are the apparatus for this? Here we are using resonating air column apparatus. See, here one tube is there. This is we can take as a closed pipe. This is one closed pipe is there. See down you see. This is the closed pipe. And down one rubber tube is there. This is giving to the reservoir. See, this is the reservoir. This is the reservoir. And it is attached to here one, one more pipe is there. It is representing the level of the water in the closed pipe. See, here we can't able to see inside. We can't able to see inside like this. See, look closely you should observe this. Where is the, where is the length of the air column here? See, water level is here. It is at, with the help of the meter scale, we can able to find it. See, clearly, with the help of this, we can find out the air column length. Then how to do this experiment and what are the apparatus for this? See, after setting this, these are the apparatus. One is the resonating air column apparatus and we are using the rubber hammer. This is the rubber hammer and these are the tuning forks. On the tuning forks only, they are giving the values. One is the, see, this is the 480 hertz and uh, this is the 384 hertz and one more also we can take it based on that uh, lab they are providing the tuning forks then we can go through the how to do the experiment how to do the experiment see look, look here we can adjust the reservoir and beat this rubber hammer we can observe the large booming sound means this frequency is matched with this frequency is matched with the this air column then uh, we are getting the large booming sound with the help of that we can find out the velocity of sound how to find out this one i say to you see first of all how to adjust the reservoir we can go through the first step is suppose the reservoir is we do this experiment with see no sound is there then we can move this one downwards you can adjust like 3, three centimeters 2 2 centimeters here also no sound until unless we should listen the sound we can repeat this experiment see now slowly sound is there. so at here the length is at 16 centimeters we can adjust little bit for more sound See, now the sound is no. This is the first resonating length. This is the first resonating length. The frequency is 512 hertz. And the, here L1 is 16 centimeters. You know the closed pipe, what is the frequency ratio? 1 is to 3 is to 5 ratio. So 16, 3 is a 48. So one more time we should observe the sound at approximately at 48 means we can start from 45. Move this reservoir slowly. Where is that 45? We can check it. And we are just here. Once again, we repeat this. See, no sound. Here, no sound. So we can adjust this one little bit downwards. Until we are getting the large booming sound. See, no sound is there. Here also, no sound. So, we can adjust. Now, we are repeating this uh, experiment after adjusting that tube one more time. I have checked at 46, 47, 48, like that. Finally, see, now the small sound is coming so we should adjust a little bit now the sound is more 
Here we got it large booming sound at 51 cm. So first resonating length L1 is the 60. Then we got it uh, 51. Same thing we can repeat for we can repeat for 384 hertz and uh, one more is the 480 hertz. 480 hertz. See on this. There are two questions. One is to find out the velocity of the sound. Another one is to compare the frequencies of the given tuning fork. So for all these what we are doing, you are beating the uh, tuning fork with rubber hammer and we are placing on the top of this uh, open side. Where is that large booming sound is there? Suppose we are starting from here. We are getting the large booming sound at 15 means that is the first resonating length. Then adjust this reservoir 15 is a 45. We repeat this from 42 to uh, 52. One more set. this time we are getting the large booming sound that is the second resonating length. So this is we are repeating for 3 or 2 resonating uh, frequencies we can measure from the tuning force. After doing that observations we can go through the tabular form. First one is the serial number. Second one is the frequency. We have used here one is the 480 hertz, another one is the 426 hertz. Then we are doing that experiment trail one first resonating length 16.9, trail two also 16.9, average of adding and divided by two also 16.9 centimeters. Then second resonating length approximately three times of that first one here 52, 52, trail 1, trail 2, mean also 52. Then after doing L2 minus L1 that is the difference of that uh, second and first resonating length is 51. Then how to find out the velocity of sound at room temperature 2 n into L2 minus L1. n is the 480 hertz. L1 is how much? 16.9. Then difference already you know this means directly we can take it. 2 into 480 into L2 minus L1 is the 52. We got it 33,120 centimeters per second. Then our next frequency is 426 hertz. Then uh, we are doing the trail 1 first resonating length, second uh, trail 1, trail 2, average of this one also same. Then second resonating length approximately 3 times of this one 52, 52, 52. We got it here 56. After doing simplification 33,400 we got it. Average is nothing but velocity of sound at room temperature that we are substituting in this formula. See instead of Vt we are taking this average to 1 minus room temperature with the help of the thermometer we can measure it substituting this. Finally we got it velocity at room temperature is this is 32,400 like that velocity of sound at 0 degree centigrade is the 33,000 centimeters per second. Thank you. Please subscribe my channel.